Hey y'all, it's your girl Socks. Today I have you know, baby. in here with us today. So tell me, for those who don't know, where'd you get Young Bibi from? Man came from like, when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Some days he's called my dad, so you know niggas in the hood. You know they used to call me youngest, so they just put it together. You know Young what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of just a good thing. Right, and then you from Paramore, right? Yeah. Right, okay, when'd you start, when'd you start doing music? I've been doing music since like 2010. Mm -hmm. yeah. When'd you start taking it like real serious? About 2012, it's been about real five, about five years. Five years? Yeah, about five years. Okay, you been, um, you been in jail? Yeah. Yeah, and then, so when you came out, were you were you at serious when you came when you came out or were you serious when you went in and you just you know I had uh it started I had went to a program mm -hmm. and I just used to freestyle a lot and write, you know what I'm saying? Niggas used to always be like, man, you raw as fuck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you raw. So when I got out all the shit what I had done wrote in there, I just got in the studio and I started rapping, so you know the core of people that was around me, they just, just like, bro, you need to take it serious, bro, you rock. Right. So I just stuck with it. And that was it? That was it. Okay. Um, so I seen that you had a song with Tony Boy, mm -hmm. right? And um, Soldier Boy had took some pieces out of it. Yeah. How'd you find that out? Like, like, did somebody come back and tell you, or did you like hear it? Like, like how did that even like transpire? It was in the middle of, it was like, middle of the night, one night, my home, but kind of like, mm -hmm. man, bro, you ain't gonna believe, man, so much blood to took. Mm, it was actually like four on me at home, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like, it was like four on them coming in the middle of the night. Yeah. That was it? That was it. So you knew, you knew that he took it because of like what he was saying, like it was very specific and everything. Snakes up, cross town, Paramore. Paramore. Young BB, Young <laughs> BB, like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even from these areas, so right. how could you know about these things? Mm. Yeah. That's crazy, that's real crazy. So when you do your music, I know I hear a lot of like, your sounds, it sounds real southern, like, like, like who is your inspiration when you do your songs? Uh, I grew up off of uh, music like Master P, mm -hmm. uh, Cash Money, Hot Boys. Yeah. That early 90s era, I grew up off of that, so that's kind of what I go back to because, you know, like right now, you know, people don't got that in right. their music and they really too much don't know too much about it, so I'm trying to bring it back. It's going to be new. Right. Cause you know a lot of the kids right now, uh, a lot, just a lot of the people in general, they don't too much on. Motherfucker don't know nothing about Master P. Mm -hmm. uh, he used to slide. They used to slide back in the day. They don't know nobody. So what I'm trying to do is just bring it in like a, a, a newer version of yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. So being that you're from Fairmore, obviously you know growing up in Orlando, like who. When you collab, who do you look to first? Like you look to obviously people in Orlando. Who are the like the people that you want to collab with or that you've been collabing with prior that you that are like your go to? Tony Buck, mm -hmm. that's my brother. So everybody else, uh, but I fuck with everybody in the shit. I got a song with them there. I got music with D Boy. Mm -hmm. I got music with like I gotta say, uh it's female artist named Chris Flash. I got music I got music with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really look for nobody, you know, uh, but Tony Boy. That's Tony my Boy. Brother, so, yeah, so I fuck with him and Chrissy Splash, them two right there. So you know I'm gonna fuck with them before I fuck with anybody else in the city. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I heard I heard um what's the song with Chrissy Splash that you got going on? Um what's the song called? Tripping. Tripping, yeah. I heard that. That was that was really dope. I like that song. Um Where do you where do you see yourself taking this like I know some some people just oh I'm just doing this you know like this is my passion but where are you going like as far as like goal wise when you're doing this music you trying to build more of a like an empire you're trying to bring people underneath your umbrella you trying to you know you just trying to just until somebody finds you and pick you up no nah, you know right now what I'm, I'm trying to build a foundation for my right now what I'm trying to do I'm trying to build a foundation for me first and then once I build my foundation, I'm able to 
the, the brain, because I'm going to bring some other people, because, you know, I can't, I ain't going to be able to be, you know, spinning forever, right. you know what I mean? So, when I build my foundation and, and you know, I get them to the level where I want to be at, then where I feel I can put extra money, extra time in other artists, then that's what I'm going to do. But that's what I want to do, my own label with, with a couple other artists, female artists, a couple other artists where I can put a lot of attention into them. Not just myself, right. you know what I mean? So, but right now I'm focused on me. Right, that's what we gotta start saying. What is, what is Wave Lord? Is that what it is? Yeah. Like, what is that like? Where did that come from? Uh, it, it came from when I was, I was signed to, uh, with FGMG with Mook Boy. Okay. And, uh, it just came from, you know, as I was saying, Wavy. Mm -hmm. And I just put the Lord on the and it stuck. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's where it came from. Okay. So, with your mixtapes, like, tell me about your mixtapes. How many mixtapes you have out right now? Probably about eight. Ooh. Okay. What is your latest one? Uh, Way Lord. That's the Way Lord was the latest. Right. Uh, Way Lord one was the latest one that did did. But I got other little smaller shit that just I put out, but uh, way lower. That was the latest one. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite song off of that? Uh, I got a lot of good fellas. Free BG. The whole tape. I like the whole you tape. You like the whole thing. Yeah, my no favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I know you have a song that I seen uh, Say Cheese Digital had put out. So love. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's uh, it's a remake. Mm -hmm. Kelly Price, mm -hmm. Let It Run, uh, and the girl on that sang her name Shayla. So, uh, to me, I feel like that's more of an industry song. Mm -hmm. it's, it can be, it's more of some shit that you know you don't see a lot of rappers in from coming from where we from do that kind of music. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's more like a, it's more industry son. That's why I try to go with my music. You feel me? I try to go industry with it because it's only it's only so much music you can do. You you like box yourself in when you just doing the music for the street. Right. So you know that's a that's a song right there. Where I feel like an elevation song. It got to catch people got to catch on to it, but right. eventually that will. It's more of like a marketing strategy. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Now there's a song <laughs> that kind of caught my attention when I was listening to it and it said running red light tell me about that running red light tell me about the whole song <laughs> ain't no method behind that <laughs> okay yeah ain't no method behind you that. does yeah it's just a punchline okay yeah okay <laughs> okay yeah. all right we're gonna keep it like that yeah. that's cool I just had to ask yeah um let me see there was something else. Oh, okay. So you had a falling out with <laughs> you had a falling out with Moose. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything straight. Everything copacetic. Straight as it's gonna be. I mean, we ain't seeing eye to eye right now. We had our uh, we had our little disagreement. To me, I feel it was as more. It was it was just people and bro, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bro had got locked up, and uh, by the time before he was finna get ready to get out, it was just people in his ear saying, you know, man, BB doing too much, trying to take his spotlight, trying to do too much. But I feel like, you know, as you being my nigga, you know what I'm saying, uh, I, I never supposed to be able to take your spotlight, you know what I'm saying? And you never supposed to feel like that, mm -hmm. you feel me? So, uh, I think it was a, it was a, dis uh, a big disagreement on, on uh, 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 the core of people we had around us mm -hmm. making me and bro fall out. Like. But you know, right now, me and him ain't talking. I'm good with that. He steady be doing little sneak shots, little dissing and shit. And I'm steady be doing little sneak shots and dissing and shit. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, that shit, it is what it is. I ain't got no 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 problem with the nigga and he better not have no problem with me and we just keep it like that. Okay. Keep it like that. That's so, right now, I, what what's going on December 23rd? What's that? December 23rd, uh, that's when I'm supposed to drop uh, Way Lord 2, mm -hmm. new mixtape. Tell me about it. 
Uh, it's a new project I got coming out. Gonna be one of the hardest projects I ever put in, work in, putting a lot of time and a lot of effort in. It got a lot of uh, remake joints on it. Mm-hmm. Cause like I say, I, I always go back to the roots of why I was right. music, you know what I'm saying? So that's the newest project I got coming out December 23rd. But it's getting pushed back so y'all can get not December 23rd out. It's getting pushed back? Yeah. That means you just putting in work in? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. So you say you got a lot of remakes. Like when you do remakes, do you, is it just because you like the song or is it because you really feel it because it has, it has things to do with your life? Yeah. Has things to do with your life. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the times I go back to the, the, the music, what I feel like I can relate to. Mm-hmm. I can't relate to a lot of the new shit, so I'm gonna go back to the stuff that I can relate right. to. Yeah. I understand. Okay. So when you said you do like masterpiece, what about what I when I hear you, I hear like a lot of like a lot of like Texas sound, like a lot of maybe like Bun B, Pimp C. Yeah. Maybe I might hear Louisiana sound like a like a Boosie or something like that, just because of like like your slang, how you draw out your words and everything like that. So, do you find it hard to relate to the younger generation because you no no like no. they they relate? Yeah. 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 I go in the hood. All the just fuck with me. They love me. You know what I'm saying? Just. What I'm trying to do, I don't want to be no follower of what everybody else got going. It's easy for me to just put out, just go listen to everything what everybody got going on right now and put out some music like that. But that ain't what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do and build off where I'm trying to go. Right. So you don't you don't really do waves that are in or nothing. None of that trend shit. I, I build my own shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Well, is there anything else that you know that you want to let me know, that let people know what you got going on? Or? Yeah, I just want to let y'all know the way Lord 2 is coming out. It's going to be a Picasso. It's going to be a work of art. So y'all need to look out for that, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of no features on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I might have a couple joints with a couple people in the city, but y'all need to look out for it. Uh, make sure y'all fuck my nigga beat down on them beats and Chris's Splash. She was new, hot as young, young female artist coming out right now. We on the new wave. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with C B M R. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me your um where we can follow you on Instagram and like if you got any uh, anything else as far as social media. Instagram official underscore young bb twitter uh, young bb twelve. Uh, that's all y'all need to follow me on. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. All right. That's it. Thank you for coming and stopping it with InterVision. Talking to me. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, shout out to InterVision, too, man. Appreciate y'all for the interview. No problem. Anytime. Big, big uh, appreciate y'all. <laughs> Anytime. All right.